Hi guys, and happy Saturday. Today is December 11th, and we're going to do a quick and simple holiday card here using the ghosting technique. Now, the ghosting technique is very, very subtle. You have the dry, uh, the uh, heat embossed resist, where you put on uh, your powder and heat set it and you can wipe away. This is called the ghosting technique, and I'm going to try to bring it up. I don't know if you can see how lightly that ghosting is. And then down here, I'm hoping you can see that, that the camera's focusing in on it. So it's showing as a very light ghost effect. This one, it's right here. See, it's so light, you hardly even see it, but it's there. Okay, so we're going to be using two different types of cardstock. We're going to be using your basic white. And you're going to be using your shimmery white. I love the shimmery white. And what we're going to be doing is, and I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly on both of them. We're going to be using Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. We're going to be using our blending brushes. We're going to be using Versamark and Memento. And then the stamp set I'm using is from the annual catalog, Snowflake Wishes. Love this set. Has the matching dies. We're not going to use any of the dies today. But I want to use this because I have a feeling it may not make it to the next catalog. I'm not sure. It's just me saying that, but just in case. All right, so let's start with the basic white. I'm going to take that big snowflake. I'm going to put it right there in the corner, grab my blending brush. You want to make sure you're tapping off and going really lightly over that. See, I went a little bit too dark there. Now again, this is going to be very, very light. You're not really going to see it too much. The second layer is where we're going to see it. All right. So let's go over here again. Leave it on there for a second. I might have left it on long enough to make sure all that ink transfers. I'm going to take my blue one with the Coastal Cabana. My whole table's moving. I actually put it up on these table risers, so it's a little bit higher. And I just feel like uh, it's not as stable as it once was before. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some of this extra area here just a little bit. Because this is where we're going to see that ghosting really come into effect. So you can see a little bit, not so much. So now we're gonna to go to the second one. And, ooh, I about put in the wrong one. That would really mess up my Versamark pad. That would not be good. All right, so let me go ahead, bring this up. I'm gonna stamp right over that. And again, come in with the Coastal Cabana. And now is where you're really seeing that come up. That second layer really brings it out. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but see how you can see that? Let me see. I'm hoping, I hope my lights aren't too bright. I have a little bit of a shadow from my uh, stand, but so you can see that that's coming in right there. So we're going to go ahead and finish this off. And I'm going to do the one on the bottom side. I'm going to do it right about there. I'm going to hold on to it for a second. I'm going to get that out of the way. I love that noise it makes when the Versa Mark is releasing off of that. All 
All right, so now you can see if the shadow's not too bad. Hopefully, maybe if I tilt it up, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but hopefully you can see that shadow effect right there. And then what I like to do is take one of my other stamps, stamp it off once, and put it on the corners there. Clean it off. Do you ever wonder how many calories you burn when you're stamping? Especially when you're as disorganized as I am. Because it feels like when I'm walking in the morning and I'm going like this, I feel like I'm doing that here too. Sorry. If you guys get motion sickness, sorry about that. All right. So let's go into the Coastal Cabana. Stamp off once. And put down one here. Get my saying. Now I've lined this up on the grid paper prior to mounting it. And there you are. With that little bit of the ghosting effect under there. And then your other. And then I use the detail trio punch. I like I like doing that in two corners and then rounding all the corners. All right, let me put my lid back on my momenta, momento and then let's go back over here. That was the basic white. Now let's do, this is the shimmer white. You can see there's just a little bit of that diamond dust, I call it, in there. So on this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and color the background first. That way we only have that ghosting on the one level, not the two. All right, let's go ahead, flip that over. Oh, that's either a Roxy hair or a Finn hair. I'm not sure which, probably a Finn hair. His hair gets all over the place. All right. So there we go. Get this out. Do one in that corner. Now someone asked how long does it take for that first mark to lose its, you know, to dry up, to not be wet anymore? I found that you actually have a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead, do that. So that one didn't show up as good. Hmm. Not sure if I got. My first mark in there really good. Oh, and obviously I didn't clean off my stamp too good because now my first mark is a little bit bluish. It happens to the best of us. So let me go ahead, hold that for a second. And come in with that. Of course, that's going to have a little bit of more ghosting because there's a little hint of blue on there of Coastal Cabana. But doesn't make for a bad. Doesn't make it that bad. Okay. So there's the two, the basic white and the uh, shimmer white on that. Let me get some of this off to the side. Then what I did was 
I used that free Marvelicious paper. Love it. Oops, there's a strip. Love the Marvelicious paper. This is free with a $50 order starting on January 4th. So if you place an order on my website and get to a $50 order, you can pick this for free. I want to say it is, I can't show you inside the mini catalog. I want to say, all right, I haven't used any of the black, so let's count the black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, 48, 48 sheets of this beautiful double-sided marvelous paper. I just, I love it. I'm really stocking up on it because I'm afraid it's going to be gone soon. Okay, that's about it, guys. A quick, fast card giving a little bit of extra layers. And as it sits out and dries, your first mark does come through even more. So see how these have been done and it, that's really starting to come through. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful and enjoy your weekend. Bye.